Welcome to the CRM Boost Getting Started tutorial. This tutorial will give you a brief overview of the CRM Boost user interface and its main features. To log into your CRM Boost account, simply open up a web browser and go to www.crmboost.com. Click on the sign in option on the upper right, then type in your user ID, which is your email address, and your password. Click login to enter your account. If you're watching this video, then you probably already did this. First thing you will see when signing into your CRM Boost account is the dashboard. The dashboard allows you to quickly view a summary of all your main modules and statistics in your account. The first view shows you your follow-up reminders for the next two weeks and past due activities. These are activities that you have created as reminders for each contact and are logged and recorded in each lead and account for further review. Below that, you will find your lead statistics. This graph shows you your visual view of the statuses of your current leads for the past 12 months. The lead statistics summary shows you how many leads you have in each stage. You can see how many new leads you have, how many are in progress, how many are closed and won, meaning they became customers or accounts, and how many were lost to your competition. You can also track these statistics on a month-by-month -month basis and quickly identify your conversion rate for effectiveness by month. Below that, you will see your CRM Boost account statistics. This shows you how many leads, accounts, and vendors you're currently tracking. It also shows you how many bounce emails you have from your email campaigns, so you can quickly identify bad email addresses and correct them right away. You can also see how many people have opted out of receiving your email campaigns, so you can find alternate ways of communicating with them. To the right, you can find your opportunity stage summary, which shows you your workflow pipeline for sales opportunities that you have generated. You will also see a list of opportunities by name, amount, and stage they're at. Below, you will find your support cases by stage summary. This is used to track any support issues that may be pending with your customers. You can also view a summary of open cases by priority and resolution stages. Going back to the top, you will find your modules and browser tabs. These give you access to the multiple modules in CRM Boost. Here you will find the Dashboard tab, which will take you back to the screen, the Leads tab, which shows you a list of all your leads, this leads further become accounts so you can access the accounts tab for current customers. The contacts tab shows you a list of contacts that belong to either leads, accounts, or vendors. The vendors tab allows you to view a list of vendors and suppliers. The opportunities tab lists your sales opportunities. Support cases tab lists all your support cases. Products tab allows you to track your products and services. The quotes tab allows you to access quotes generated for each lead or account. The Invoice tab allows you to view invoices that you've created for each account. The Purchases tab allows you to view purchase orders that you generated for a vendor. Then you have the Documents tab, which allows you to store documents in your CRM Boost account so you can access them via the internet anytime, anywhere. The Task module tracks a list of tasks, reminders, and activities not directly related to any contact. The Email Campaigns tab allows you to create powerful email series and recurring email campaigns for automated marketing, email drip marketing, recurring notifications, greetings, and special occasion notices to your leads and customers. The Email Lists tab allows you to quickly segregate groups of contacts into specific groups and target markets. You can then assign them into a campaign for fully personalized emails. Preferences allows you to customize individual modules to adapt fields to your needs. Here you can define your specific workflow stages for using your opportunities pipeline. You can also customize your payment terms for using your quotes. Administration allows you to manage and maintain your users and groups. You can further edit the access and privileges to each user and assign user and administrator account. You can limit access by modules too. The Preferences and Administration tabs are only available to administrator accounts. The Options tab allows you to change your password and create email signatures. And finally, the Messages tab allows you to send messages between CRM Boost users within your company. To create new items, simply click on Create Lead, Create Account, Create Vendor, Create Product, Create Task, and Create Campaign. The Global Viewer allows you to view and share contact information between users in your group. It's also a powerful management tool for auditing and accountability. To look up a contact in your account, simply go to the search option on the left and type any contact information about the person you're trying to find, such as first name, last name, company name, email, city, or phone number. CRM Boost will search through all your leads, accounts, vendors, contacts, and products to find the item you're looking for. 
You also have a calendar for which you can choose to view by month, week, or day view. Below that you have your quick notes, which allows you to quickly save a quick note and it's accessible from all the screens. Finally, if there's any questions or concerns, you can always reach our support department by clicking on the need help at the top of the page. Thank you for watching this getting started tutorial. Make sure to join us at our weekly webinars by registering for free in our main page.